Now, more than 15 years ago, a group of volunteers started collecting vintage Spitfire memorabilia. It started as a hobby with just one photograph. Now they've got so much stuff, they filled an entire aeroplane hangar. Yeah, the Spitfire Visitor Centre at Blackpool Airport is now looking to expand, in fact, as Ed Hansen reports. Hangar 42 at Blackpool Airport, a room full of stories and history. And this is the photo that started this collection. So from hundreds of files, I pulled one out and a picture fell on the floor. And it was a picture of this with Lytham St Anne's written on the side. And that's really what started this whole story. He discovered the Spitfire was adopted by Lytham St Anne's as part of the government's Wings for Victory campaign where towns raised money and adopted aircraft for the war effort. And most importantly, John learnt who the pilot was, Alan Lever Ridings. He was a young man from Oldham who ended up flying the town's Spitfire and was sadly shot down um, on the 23rd of June 1942 and uh, was killed. Um, so from that we, were, we, uh, uh, we decided to build a memorial um, to the residents of Lim St Anne's and to Alan Lever Ridings which is now uh, has pride of place at Fairhaven Lake on the coast in uh, Lytham St Anne's. Spurred on, the museum was born. The collection boasts planes and vehicles from the Second World War period. Right, OK, Morris, let's go and take it for final fitments. OK. In one of the workshops, Raymond right, and his new apprentice, Morris, are busy renovating a rare wooden plane, identical to the one flown by the iconic aviatrix Amy Johnson. Amy's family owned an ice packing business in Fleetwood and her last fateful flight in the Airspeed Oxford started on the runway here at Blackpool in 1941. If we can bring people in and tell the story of Amy Johnson and they have the aircraft here to replicate that flight, it's an opportunity for us, it's also a privilege for us to do this work. With Amy's plane taking shape, the museum has outgrown its current space and fundraising is underway for a new hangar here. That will allow opening hours to be extended. The team of volunteers hope the hangar will be complete next year, along with the tribute to Amy Johnson. Wow, what a collection. Well done to them. Yeah, Ed Hansen with that report.